Queen Elizabeth II lost a key asset to the monarchy after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry decided to step down from the royal family and relocate to California. Meghan Markle was a massive injection of support for the royal family after the Duchess succeeded in winning over the crowds during the couple's South Pacific tour in 2018, claimed a new documentary. Her ability to put young people at ease and interact with members of the public ensured that the Sussexes went down like an absolute storm in Australia and New Zealand. However, despite their success, the couple would leave the royal family in 2020 and relocate to California. Speaking to the Channel 5 documentary Fergie and Meghan, Inconvenient Royals, Richard Kay said, They went down an absolute storm. She can put people at ease, particularly young people. In parts of the world, particularly Australia and New Zealand, where there's been a lot of flirting over the years with the idea of them becoming republics, she was a massive injection of support for the crown and for the monarchy's longevity. Royal historian Dr. and Whitelock continued, Harry later said on that tour, the attitude to Meghan changed in the palace because of the way that she managed to seemingly won the public and potentially overshadow Prince Harry even. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex embarked on a 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga in October 2018. Meghan Markle became a hit as she greeted well-wishers and usually spent more than the allocated time speaking to members of the public. The tour saw the couple attend the Invictus Games in Australia, where they were seen cheering on the men's wheelchair basketball finals. Prince Harry established the tournament in 2014 for wounded servicemen and women, and the couple both gave speeches at the event to congratulate the competitors. Meghan was praised for her speech at an event honouring the 125th anniversary of women being given the vote in New Zealand. She said, in the words of your suffragette at Kate Shepherd, all that separates, whether race, class, creed, or sex, is inhuman and must be overcome. Other engagements included a visit to the University of the South Pacific. Comma, meeting the surfing community one wave, and a private audience with King Tupu Vi and Queen Nana Zipporu. At the beginning of the tour, the couple announced that they were expecting their first child. Their son, Archie Harrison, was born the following spring. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle released a shock statement in January 2020 to say that they would be stepping down from their roles as senior working royals and would be relocating to North America. Rumours of a rift between the couple and other members of the royal family had begun to circulate following the South Pacific tour, as the Sussexes and Cambridges decided to split their royal households. During the couple's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, Prince Harry claimed that their successful trip marked a turning point in the couple's relationship with the royal family. He said, They were. They were really welcoming, but it really changed after the Australia tour. After our South Pacific tour. That was our first tour. It was also the first time that the family got to see how incredible she is at the job. And that brought back memories. When asked if he was implying jealousy, Prince Harry responded, I just wish that we would all learn from the past, and noted that Meghan would have been the greatest asset to the Commonwealth. The couple also claimed the royal family had neglected their mental health, denied their son of a title, and claimed that a senior member of the family had made a racist remark. Whilst the Sussexes are believed to enjoy a warm relationship with the Queen, reconciliatory talks with other members of the family, including Prince Charles and Prince William, have reportedly been unproductive.